you doing? My name is Charlie Carter and in this video I'm going to be talking about the benefits of fully manual vintage lenses as opposed to electronic native lenses and this applies really to any system but I'm, today I'm going to be focusing on Panasonic because I use the GH5 so I'm going to be comparing the manual set of lenses that I own which are these Carl Zeiss contacts mount lenses compared to the Panasonic own branded electronic uh, Leica lenses because recently I bought the 15mm f1.7 Panasonic Leica because I needed a fast uh, wide angle lens and then unfortunately the, the only downside with these Carl Zeiss contacts is they there is wide angle lenses but they're not all that fast upon instantly unboxing this Carl Zeiss Leica, Leica, Carl Zeiss Leica lens and just feeling it and playing around with it it instantly reinforced why I don't like these modern electronic lenses. Now, the disclaimer, right? I'm not putting these lenses down. They're great lenses, but for me, they're great lenses for photography. Uh, that's one of the main reasons I bought this lens. I'm going to London at the weekend and I, just, I don't want to have to manual focus when I'm just taking quick pics around, around London. I might use it for video, but only for establishing shots. I'm certainly not going to use it to film people. So let's get into the reasons why. Um, if you haven't used these older manual focus uh, for fully manual lenses, you really can't understand the difference. There's just a massive difference in the quality of the build for one. These Zeiss lenses, these are built like a tank. They just ooze quality. The, the, the focusing is just so, it's like, silky smooth it's, it's impossible to you can't compare the focusing on this lens with even the Panasonic Leica that's still fly-by-wire and I don't care what anybody says fly-by-wire is never ever ever gonna be as good as mechanical um, focus it's just never gonna be as good some problems with it it, it doesn't you know, you can focus at one speed one time with fly-by-wire and it will, you'll reach a certain focus point and you can't repeat that move because it's it's electronic. It, other problem, you know, you can turn the camera off, turn it back on and if the focus is not the same as where it was before. Fly-by-wire focus is just garbage for filmmaking. Um, some people might disagree with me uh, and I don't care because I've owned a number of fly-by-wire lenses and they've all eventually ended up getting sold. This 15 mil that I've got, I'm going to use it for the trip to London. I might use it for some establishing scenes, but it's never going to be a, a main lens of mine. Never, because the quality just does not come anywhere near. They're in another league. So as I say, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about these Zeiss contact lenses. There are lots of other choices out there. There's Canon FD, SMT Pentax, Minolta. Um, there's, there's a a load of, of vintage uh, fully manual lenses that you can get but I'm going to focus on these Zeiss lenses because these are the ones I've got and these are the ones that I know and love and I'm never gonna sell. Why should you care about these Zeiss contact lenses? Well number one they cover a full frame sensor so they can be adapted to any mirrorless camera Sony, Fuji, Panasonic. Number two these uh, Zeiss contacts have a very similar optical design to the ZE and ZF range of Zeiss lenses at like a third of the price. So you're getting like really high quality glass, high quality build, um, made in Germany or Japan. They're equally as good. Uh, it's ridiculous value for money. You know, let's compare. Um, as one specific example, the 42.5mm uh, Panasonic Leica Nocitron f1.2, which people think is a people you know think is a great lens. I haven't actually used that specific lens. It may be a great lens, um, but look at the price. It's like over a thousand UK pounds. You can get a Contax Zeiss Planar f1.4 in mint condition for about. 250 quid off eBay. All right, it's 0.2 of a stop slower. It's not electronic, but it's like a quarter of the price. That over a thousand pound Nokitron is still fly-by-wire. 
Do you really want to pay four times as much just to have point two of a stop, quicker lens and um, autofocus capability for filmmaking? Personally, I don't. I mean, I think if you're making films, GH5 is not known for its autofocus anyway. I mean, why on earth would you buy the Nokitron? Uh, I just do not understand it. Another benefit of these uh, Zeiss contacts is they have the, the T coating on them, which is the same coating found on Hasselblads, on Super Speeds. Um, it gives a more organic look to the image. These, these, are, these, are, these, are like a, these lenses are a steel. You'd just be crazy not to, to consider these lenses. I've already touched on this, but the focus, I just I cannot emphasize how good the focus is. It's ridiculously smooth, you know? I don't know why my voice went that high then. Um, it's just like, unless your main activity is vlogging, I don't understand why anyone will feel that the autofocus is really, really important. If you're making narrative films, if you're making, if you're doing wedding videos, if you're doing mm -mm, wedding videos, maybe autofocus might be quite important. I've shot weddings with these Zeisses and because I'm so fast at focusing on these manually, I don't really care about autofocus. I think it's one of those things. If you haven't tried um, fully manual lenses and you're not used to them, you don't realize the difference. If all you've ever used is native electronic lenses, you don't know um, how good these actually are. Like, it's, it's the difference, to, in, in my mind, using these compared to using native lenses for filmmaking it's like the difference between driving a Ferrari and driving a Skoda, you know? That's, it might sound like I'm exaggerating there, but seriously, that's how much of a difference I notice. But just to reiterate really, you know, I've got nothing against electronic uh, native lenses, nothing whatsoever. Um, for photography, they're great. They're light, they're small, you stick them in your pocket, you know? But for, for filmmaking, oh, I just can't, I just cannot use native lenses. I don't understand why anyone would want to use them. These are for photography lenses, fair enough, you know, they're not cinema lenses, but they feel like cinema lenses. Or, or, or they're a lot closer anyway than, than the model electronic lenses, which are just light, they're focused by wires, horrible for video. Uh, for photography, lightning fast, love it. For video, awful, truly awful when you've used these. Uh, the difference is night and day. That's going to do it for this video. Yeah, hopefully there's some, there'll be some discussion on this video. Um, this is just my opinion, but I have tried both and I never use uh, electronic lenses for filmmaking anymore. Never. I, and I never would. Ideally, I would use cinema lenses, but I, I can't afford cinema lenses. And these truly are the next best thing.